Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with a final update as to what happened when they broke into my C8 Corvette. And we're in the exact same spot where it happened at. I'll see you after this brand new intro. That's right, the premiere of my new intro. You guys holler at me in the comments. Let me know if you like it, dislike it, what I need to change about it, what I need to keep. If you want to hear the whole song, holler at me in the comments. See you right at the intro. gentlemen welcome back to the vlog welcome back to the channel i greatly appreciate you tuning in that's right ladies and gentlemen we are back we are back in the exact same parking spot i was in one month ago when my c8 corvette was broken into right here in this spot you can still see remnants of the glass right here on the back corner um so just to recap i got an alert on my phone that said hey your car has been broken into uh, I thought it was a mistake though. I thought I had left something open or didn't close the trunk all the way, etc. And plus I was five blocks away, so it took me a few minutes to get back over here. But nevertheless, I did get back here and I found the glass on the driver's side door in the front seat. Now, hold on. Now when I noticed that, um, of course, the police were notified, called them, and it took them 16 hours to respond. But nevertheless, I told them don't even worry about it because there's no way that you guys are going to catch them now. But I was lucky enough to have two witnesses on the scene who told me it was a white Honda CRV. I did a video that night, put that video out. One of my subscribers called me and said, hey, or they reached out to me and said, hey, the vehicle that you described in the video be hanging out over here in New Orleans East. So they gave me that information. I went around there a few times, never found them. However, I used to uh, get a lot of questions. Well, James, what was it that you was going to do if you found them? And I battled with that back and forth because of course I was angry at the idea that they had done something like that. Um, but I also understand why they do things like that. And I wanted to, part of me wanted to try to teach them the things that they could do so they'll never be in a place in a position to where they have to commit any kind of crimes because we all know where that leads, either a box under the ground or a box behind bars. Nevertheless, I wanted to try to prevent some of that, and if I could have, maybe. And then, of course, the flip side of that was F them dudes because they really messed over me unnecessarily. But it is what it is. But as I return today, I get the information that... Uh, from one of the security guards who noticed me a month ago told me that four individuals were captured um, and they believe it's the same people and ever since they have been arrested and captured that there have not been any further break-ins in this lot which belongs to one company or this lot that belongs to another company or any of their affiliated lots throughout the French Quarter so that was a good thing and if it was them then I hope they um, learn their lessons and, of course, progress to a more productive members of society in the future. All we can do is wish. But um, the, the young one that broke into my car, uh, of course, when the alarm went off, he climbed through the window, which scratched up all of the interior door panel. And then, like I mentioned before, he had placed the glass all into the front seat. The total repairs was over forty six hundred dollars that's right four thousand six hundred dollars thank god i only had to pay five hundred of that but nevertheless it was forty six hundred dollars and about one month a little over a month a month and a couple of days to get that all that repaired so i thought it was fitting that i come back here to the very very same spot and finish up the video i really hope that other people that were victimized by these individuals that day see this video and I get to see exactly what it was that they had to go through if their vehicles 
for even repair because I do know there was another truck down there. There was a BMW over there and there was an Audi over there that was hit at the exact same time or right behind one another. So other than that, that's all I want to do was give you a quick update. Run this video out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Paris. Skirt, skirt. Skirt, skirt. But I see four and a C eight.